spider was just fully in my hair. Hello, friend. I just tried to put my hair up in like a ponytail and this spider just fell out of it. Oh. It just fell off. Poor guy. I gotta talk before this gets too dry. This is the only face mask I use. I don't believe in face masks. I don't think they're real. It's just some goop that you put on your face and you just take right off. What's that doing? Or like, what are the, like the paper ones? Like the sheet, sheet masks? That is a scam. You are being scammed. However, this one I do think does quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like it like deep cleans really well. It's almost like 10 o'clock though and I'm just gonna keep this on for a little while. I'm gonna edit a bit. I'm gonna edit this video. Hello? And then I'm gonna shower and go to bed. So. Good morning, you guys. This is a shirt that I got from Depop. I got the craziest fucking comment a while ago, but somebody said, Ugh, fi <laughs> Ugh finally Sean wears a good fit. And I've never claimed to be like a fashionista. Miss Third Ward. Plus also in the video, I wore like maybe five or six different outfits. So I'm really curious as to which outfit that person saw and thought, he's finally getting it. <laughs> but I got this gray, ooh, it smells washed. But I got this gray shirt with a really cool little design on it. Do you see that? It's very interesting, but it's like gray. So I feel like I can kind of wear it with whatever. It's Stussy X Basil Wolverton. I like it. I think it's so interesting. And then I also got sent this package from freaking Penguin Random House. They emailed me and they were like, what's your address? We want to send you something. And I said, this could be a scam. I'm trying to get my address so they could kill me, but I'm just going to give it to them. <laughs> Wow, this is so nice. What the heck? They sent me the new Emma Klein book, The Guest, which I'm, I haven't, I haven't bought a hard copy in forever. Emma Klein, she's an author that I've seen around. I've never read any of her stuff, but I've only heard good things about her, so. And this cover is freaking sick. Yeah, yeah. The heck? What the heck? And they also sent me this little tote bag. Damn, this is nice. Oh. It's got a little thing here. Oh, it's got a button too! Woo! And then they also sent me, um... 
This is weird. Uh, they sent me like a a tumbleweed. I I mean that's cool. I've never seen one in real life, like from like the wild wild west tumbleweed. So that's cool that they decided to just throw that in there. Even though I think this came from New York. Um, yeah, I feel like I've just been doing like random little side quests all day trying to like Get my life together a bit. I went to the store this morning went to the post office Then later in the day went to the store again Then I also went to the post office again, and then I came home I've been warring with my passport because my passport expired in 2020 at the height of the pandemic So I've been trying to do it now Because I want to get the fuck out of here, but I've been having some complications because I also don't have any ID right now. I'm convinced this is not my fault. This is something that should be talked about and known. This is gonna only be for like a few people, people who live in British Columbia, <laughs> or I don't know, maybe other parts of Canada too. When you turn 22, if you do everything like on time when you're supposed to, we're well, not where you're supposed to, but like driver's license, ID, stuff like that, your driver's license and your ID expire at the same time. So a few weeks ago, I was like, oh, I'll just renew them. So I do that, I'm given just like two slips of paper, temporary driver's license and temporary ID that don't have my fucking photo on it. My passport's expired, so I'm currently living with zero photo ID, so I'm not able to go to like clubs or bars or buy drugs. Smoke weed every That's day. how I figured it out. I tried to buy drugs. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for my ID and my driver's license to get here. It's been like weeks. I feel like a baby. Like, I feel like I'm like, I can't do anything. Even though it's not a big deal at all, like it's truly not a big deal. It's honestly not made even a slight dent in my life, but it is just frustrating. But tonight it's like almost nine o'clock. I've got to finish the rough cut of this video that I'm working on. I want to post it on Friday. We'll see if I get it done. I think I will be able to get it done. And then honestly, I'm just going to go to bed. I don't know what made me think I could do that front flip. I've never been good at doing front flips for some reason. Back flips are just easier for me, which seems weird. Like you would think that the front flip would be easiest. When I was a kid, I was, Yes, I was a gymnast. I was a competitive, honestly, prodigy. Like, I could have been in the Olympics if I didn't get chubby when I was like 13. Because <laughs> then I quit. But today, I think it's like maybe four or five in the evening. I totally fucked up and slept in a ton. And then I was just like, whatever. I'm just gonna have a really productive work day. And I was trying to do work. And then I realized, wow. I can't do this. So then I came to the lake and everything's perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill here in the shade for a while. I'm gonna read. I brought Upstream by Mary Oliver. Can you see it? It's just a collection of essays. Love Mary Oliver, all about the outdoors. This is my pick for Priory of Sean this month. Which, by the time this comes out, yeah, you could still join it if you want to read this. If you already own this book, just sign up on my Patreon. But I'm just gonna start this right now. Well, it's Thursday. It's like 11.30 right now, I think, and I just spent most of the morning editing. I want to finish a video today to post for tomorrow, so probably gonna spend the majority of my day doing that. I got a pretty decent chunk done, 
so I am not too worried about that. Today's also the last hot day or something. I don't know. I have no clue. I just know that I want to go swimming. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 20, 21 degrees, I think, and then right after that it's supposed to jump back up to 30. But my plan right now is to just go to the creek and then come back and finish editing this video. I'll probably bring along a book. I'm probably gonna bring Killers of the Flower Moon. I just got to Chronicle 2. Tons of people are dying. It's really bad, but um, super interesting. Um, my plants are dying in the most violent way possible. Like, what are you so dry for? I've just watered you. There's tons of spiders in my room too. I lost my AirPod. My right AirPod. I was putting it back in the case and it just slipped up my fingers and fell in here. And I'm playing the noise. Look how I find my iPhone, you see that? I can hear it. It's making like a ribbit. It's somewhere in here. You hear it? Hear it? I hear it. You hear that? I, w I would jump higher, but it's honestly not very deep, I promise. I can't get over how pretty this shit is. <laughs> Look at this little um, man-made canal. It's like, feels like I'm in like Italy. Look. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's I don't feel comfortable being here. <laughs> I was just out there, and while I was out there, there was like a couple rocks that fell from all the way up there. See that? Plus, it's getting pretty late. It's, or not late, it's two. And I got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm gonna head home. I'll probably listen to an audiobook on the way back. Cause I got like a 45 minute walk. More like an hour. I'll probably listen to Sex and Rage by Eve Babbitts. That's the audiobook that I'm currently listening to. Loving it. So good. Such incredible summer vibes. Look at this shit. I've also decided to start showing feet. I've decided to start showing feet in videos. Uh... So, I got a package. I got a suitcase because I'm getting the fuck out of here. Plus, I just don't have one and I needed one. All right, I do have one, but it's just, I need a new one. So I decided to spend way too much money on a new suitcase. Okay, wow. I got two, I got like an attachable bag as well. This is really embarrassing, but um, I actually already have one of these. 
and I love it. It's right over here, but I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the smaller one, but it just, it doesn't match. Like, I needed to get one that matched. <laughs> like, look, like, that doesn't match, but the red matches the, the, you, was it, okay. Whatever. I think this is the 45 liter black hole bag from Patagonia. This is great. What the hell? Anyway, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day editing because I have to finish that video. Yeah, I'll probably just talk to you tomorrow, I guess. This lighting sucks shit. Oh. Popcorn. <laughs> it's Friday, which means it's the last day of the week, which doesn't mean much to me in my life because every day is the exact same. So I need to clean my room really bad. I feel like I'm living in like an Amazon packing facility. Like I have so many boxes and packages everywhere because recently there's just been stuff that I've been wanting slash needing like a new suitcase that recently in just like one fell swoop one night I just bought everything so I've been getting like tons of packages I think I'm gonna change my sheets because they are covered in blood and shit and piss I gotta water my plants oh also <laughs> I don't think I should show these. I get last night I got my ID and my driver's license So I need to fill out my passport application. I want to work out I've got a ton of stuff over here. Just clothing that I want to get rid of. I want to throw it on Depop. I also have some books that I might put on Depop that I want to get rid of. Okay, let's get started Sorry, I haven't showered today, so my bangs are not right. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was planning on showering today, but then this shit. <laughs> I accidentally spent the entire day reading this. I didn't do anything that I said I was gonna do, except for clean my room. I cleaned my bedroom really good. <laughs> well, okay, so. Like, I did a pretty good- okay, well you can't see it, okay. I never showed what it looked like before, but I promise it was a mess. I've spent like, the past like, six hours reading this book. I've been like, gasping and gawking and guffawing, it's been like, I cannot believe this is real. One of the best written pieces of nonfiction I've ever freaking read. Recently I read Say Nothing by Patrick Radden Keefe, which is about like the IRA, and it was so unbelievably good. And this is just as good, if not maybe a tiny bit better. I think that what, uh, like, I think this is maybe just a little bit easier for me to follow, just because there's way less people as much as say characters, but this shit is real! These people are real! And there's also so many more pictures, like, big ass pictures. And I feel like in Say Nothing, my only one gripe with it was that maybe it was just like a tad bit hard to follow at times. Just like, just because there were so many people. And in this one, there definitely are a lot of people. But the photos help a lot. Like there's a lot more photos in here. And they reuse photos of the same people just to like kind of jog your memory. The author's keeping in mind that some people are dumb. And they need some visuals to jog their memory as to who these people are. So they'll like reuse images of people to be like, do you remember this one? Yeah, this is who I'm talking about. It's crazy. Like the Osage Nation, richest people in the fucking world. And then naturally white men saw that there was some people doing better than them and thought, do you know what? 
let me infiltrate their community and just fucking destroy it and take it for my own. This is also about the birth of the FBI, which is what I just finished. I'm not even finished this book. I just got to part three. I've got like 70 pages left. I don't know how it's gonna end. I need to finish it tonight though. So I just wanna end the video now before it gets too late. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me this week. And I'll see you very soon, hopefully. You should read this book too. Oh my god, the movie's gonna be so- Like, I'm praying the movie is good. I've been looking at like the cast and I think that the casting is so good. Leonardo DiCaprio playing Ernest Burkhart, I think he's like perfect. And I, I really hope it's good and I hope it's popular, not for the sake of just being like a good movie, but I hope it opens a conversation around Native Americans. I feel like in Canada there's so much emphasis and we talk so much about indigenous people in Canada, even though there are still reserves that don't have access to clean water. I don't think the history of Native Americans in America is talked about that often, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, I wonder how many people know about, like, residential schools in America, which in America, I believe, were called industrial schools, or if that's, like, in the curriculum at all. I don't know. I don't know. I know for in Canada, or at least where I, in British Columbia, it doesn't hit the curriculum until grade 11, which is so wild to me. But anyways, I'm just rambling now. Uh, bye. If you keep hearing me say sorry when I come over here, there's a hornet's nest right there, and I keep on almost stepping on the hornets. I actually got stung by a hornet yesterday for the first time since I was like a kid. So I've been trying to be very kind. <laughs>